what will be the absolute best way to start learning overtaking in sim racing let's get into it now i've seen quite a bunch of videos on youtube already and on the internet how to overtake and i think most information is out there but a big problem is with overtaking it's just like that two percent events like on a race you know it's gonna be about being very consistent on track it's going to be about like not making any mistakes and overtaking is just a fraction of the actual race so zooming in on all this overtaking only is actually maybe not that beneficial but there is something else you really need to master before getting into really clean overtakes and that will probably be the first rule in overtaking doing it cleanly not squeezing it on the inside make contact or use other people to like a like a breaking wall into so being doing this very clean will be the best way i've been overtaken i'm also going to show this in examples that people just scratch next to me they're just grinding and touching and wheel banging forcing them themselves on a certain line pushing me wide i think you failed at an overtake and you can get penalties for this and bruh don't get me started okay now i probably said this before overtaking in a start sequence is probably gonna get you the most positions but it's also going to be a good recipe for freaking disaster so being careful on the start but this is not really what i want to talk about i want to talk about when the race progresses because the reason why you want to overtake someone is just because he's holding you back and this is a good indication that you actually need to overtake him and also you probably don't have the luxury of waiting around too much but i will say about waiting around too much or like being very consistent behind someone that will actually force the other car in front of you into a mistake back in the day when i was driving on a forza 7 there was a racer called mr race tidy and he had about the same pace as me we were like pretty competitive in online lobbies but this guy would overtake you cleanly no matter what and this man had a special ability he was so patient and he was very consistent on his breaking points turning points and every time he would sneak up behind me and he would be in my mirrors like like the whole race and then at some point i cracked made a mistake and then he could just overtake me no issues and i really think this is the best way to go about it especially this especially works very well if you're a beginner or in the lower leagues because the difference let's say on low fuel motorsport and acc is that we can see in split two three four lobbies that the lap times overall are pretty like the same but there is a massive consistency difference so if you are the most consistent driver on track and you can keep it clean you're probably gonna do a lot of overtaking without really thinking about it too much let's say you're behind somebody and you're really pushing hard yes you're on your limit but you're very close in the guy in front of you yeah let's let's paint this scenario if you badly want to overtake him then i think you should if it's only like if it's like becoming the last lap because if you're mid race and you're really on your limit and there is something someone in front of you but he's really close but you're not really actually gaining then being starting this like raw fight with somebody can really hurt your overall lap time so sometimes it's just wiser just to be like consistent behind someone and if you really feel you need to like hit the brakes early or need to like make different uh corner approaches because you really need to lift all the time then yes of course you should overtake this man but if you're really already on your limit 
when you actually overtake someone do you have the power and capabilities to disappear into the distance so overtaking somebody is one step getting in front but actually driving away from that driver as well because being in this fight will hurt your overall lap time massively there's also another struggle i'm thinking about when i'm really behind someone for a very long time and then all of a sudden i have this open field and open tarmac all the way in front of me so no no opponents anymore left they already disappeared because i was stuck behind someone and now all of a sudden you're driving into like a defending position and you actually like need to really think about your breaking points again i've seen a lot of times that people overtake me they somehow manage to like squeeze this position and getting in front of me and then the next sector they make like three mistakes in a row this is a very hard to do and this is also comes with skill you know uh, if you're really like consistent and you know the track like you did a thousand or two thousand laps on this track you're probably not gonna have this issue that much but then again if you're super experienced and you're behind someone all the time the transition into like uh free tarmac all of a sudden and being in free air uh, can really like your mind needs to shift a little bit so this is also something to consider uh, especially when you overtake someone so Arnold, how can i learn this as a beginner well first of all uh what i said before you need to have consistent laps i mean this is like the most important thing being consistent then if you nail that down you actually have to try and test it out yourself a whole bunch of times see what works see what doesn't work and you will get experience over time but it's the most important that you just keep it clean and a lot of times what i'm struggling with is that like we have straights i normally i'm not really picking a car with a long top speed straight but if you have a car with a high top speed then overtaking let's say on spa or monza or ricard whatever it will be pretty straightforward and it's a decent way to do it but if you don't want to feel like a meta ish person or trying to like have the fastest car on track to overtake um, it can really be helpful to challenge yourself with a car that is like let's say a porsche and you're struggling a little bit with top speed then you're going to need to be creative and you're gonna have like uh you need to do more effort to do an overtake and it's gonna be more rewarding as well the overtakes from the outside in my opinion are just the best and this is a lot of overtaking i need to do these days like this because whenever you go up on a straight and you get really close to your opponent the smart opponents will just go to the inside of the next corner that is coming to defend and this is like what i would do as well if i'm defending i'm choosing the inside line i'm not gonna give it away for free and if they want to overtake me they can do that on the outside so on the outside is a lot of times i'm at and this kind of forces me to learn it from overtaking from the outside but this is very dangerous and you really want to get into learning your opponent's drivability as well if he's overshooting every corner then going on the outside will probably convert in having a lot of contact and collisions with that guy so um, then you can do a dummy you go on the outside you're gonna try to break late but you're actually not gonna break late he will over break and then you can cut in backwards this is just like one tip that i am doing so but the point here is that you just try to learn this guy in front or this girl this front of you how is his driving style and get to know him before you overtake like very quickly and do it in a predictable manner so you can stay out of contact what to do when you can't overtake or you're just lacking the pace or you're just lacking the top speed 
or are you just lacking like the skill to overtake well i would just use this as an opportunity to get close to the to the one in front of you and just keep doing that just as i explained before do it really tidy be super close and at some point they're gonna have to crack they're gonna make a mistake and you can just push it next to the next to him or her and then you will just be on that next corner sequence and you're gonna have to drive a little bit offline and but this is something you just really need to do and practice and it's you're gonna crash a lot and it's gonna be a lot of struggle doing this but you cannot learn this cleanly you have to go through the struggle and pain and misery that comes with it and through time you will learn it and it will become easier now i'm gonna show some examples of races that i'm doing some situations that aren't super clean or like with multiple cars and they're just a small explanation of some racecraft situations let's get into it now in this first situation we have actually uh, an overtaking maneuver but there's another car involved so we have this merc in front of us he makes a mistake and in this instance i also need to lift for this mclaren and he is choosing the inside line so i'm just having this free roam to break into now he actually hit me here but i'm actually using this massive uh, power capability of this merc just to use this acceleration to get away from him and now i'm also sticking to the inside because i am not super sure if if he's trying to do another maneuver on me and here we actually are in the clear and now we actually did that overtake now the next situation we have this ferrari and also here i need to break on the outside i can really do that late and i'm using the outside line again this acceleration of this merc which is why i absolutely love this car and over here still the outside line i really need to take and that's it now i'm actually in the clear it doesn't come without risk but hey now this clip is gonna take a whole lot longer but it's actually really interesting i always get really nervous when i see so many cars in front of me so uh breaking here and i have also this car behind me i don't know if you can see it but there's a white ferrari also knocking on my back door and this is going to be like this situation just dodging everyone basically now over here i cannot really do anything just to make sure if you're in a situation like this having this decent exit and this bmw is again a nine head move choosing that inside and this was actually going to really hurt me in this sequence so over here we break in and important to note is that this ferrari is actually super smart choosing that inside line i'm just keep going through and through and i'm just trying to use this outside line but this ferrari is a bit smarter and now i'm actually lost the position here um the reason this happens with all these cars we have this car in front of us that is actually letting us uh drive slowlier because he cannot keep up the pace and this is what a point what i earlier made this ferrari was eager to overtake me but then it's important that you don't make mistakes if you're in front of one because now we have that gap forming because this ferrari made a mistake so it's important that that you overtake that you can actually keep the pace as well instead of being in fight with me now so uh this actually is gonna play out very nicely i also make a huge mistake uh having some troubles with my awareness but that's for a bit later so uh, this sequence as well it's important that to never give up and trying to go back to consistency we lost the position here but we just keep on driving keep on driving keep being consistent hitting that throttle as soon as possible doing the perfect lines and then at some point somewhere somebody is gonna make a mistake there's gonna be contact like for over here you see cars sliding and actually we get really lucky here uh, to overtake this uh, Merc and this Austin Martin. Now I'll make some contact with that Austin, but uh, I've seen that replay and yeah, he that that was my mistake. You know, I'm also not a freaking princess, uh, whatever. I also make mistakes sometimes, 
Over here I can do the outside again this track on Kill Army. Great track. And yeah, so now we gained like four or five positions. So it's also important just to never give up. The next point I want to get into is this beamer. I was chasing him down and I closed the gap really super quickly. And this beamer, he is stuck behind this McLaren in front of us. And this sometimes I do as well. I just give the sign with the tail lights or with the indicator lights. You go ahead. You go ahead. Try to overtake the McLaren. And then I can focus on attacking more and more. And this BMW behind me can actually focus on his own lines or he wanted to get his safety rate. Now, again, another example of being super consistent, forcing somebody into a mistake and just choosing the inside line over here and then overtaking can be pretty straightforward and now we're chasing the porsche down there's a lot more porsches coming to chase down i always like to chase down porsches so here is that moment being super close setting them under pressure we're actually in a different car here it's the completely different approach with this Ferrari in comparison with that uh, Merc because with the Merc you can accelerate use that acceleration to overtake somebody but with this car you really need to find that pace into the braking zone and in mid corner this car really thrives as well now I have the inside line here I can break into him Opa. and now still trying to give him the space but now and still he's on the outside a little bit it's also important that you to keep that this that space for the other car yeah being social that's they're they're humans as well you know so yeah and then we get into the next situation and here i am too eager and i'm hitting that porsche in front so now i'm just waiting and hoping that he like can correct himself really quickly and then it cost me another position but this is like this is how i'm doing it because if i hit somebody it's not overtaking over here as well a porsche i don't believe it was the same guy but it's the same livery forcing him into a mistake and just overtaking is so easy like that i love this first section suzuka yeah it's absolutely amazing if you do it right then we have a night race we did on Hungara Ring last week and I have a situation here that I really don't like. This is how people can do it. Yeah, just squeeze it in the inside and overtake. This is a failed overtake. I'm actually a little bit pissed off as well signing with the lights. I mean, I also did report this guy because uh, come on man. Or actually I didn't. I'm not sure. I don't remember anymore. So, on this situation, I'm just over braking and I lose a position because this Honda was actually super consistent behind me and at some point I just cracked and now he gained my position. So, this is something that I like, I can like use this as a weapon, but it also is being used as a weapon against me and I also crack under pressure. Now we over here we have this blue uh, flagger. Uh, he's actually way quicker. Uh, good stuff, man. Uh, absolutely great. Just he's just pushing me and pushing me until I start sliding, and then he just overtakes me. A very strange way to do it. Uh, I don't care how impatient you are, but you can do it cleanly, man. And also here I get a little bit fed up as well. It's also important to not get angry. Now, becoming angry after like somebody overtook you, uh, always know there's like in this racecraft stuff, there's always two stories. It's important to look back at replays and see, hmm, maybe I didn't really do this really well. So also try to learn from this because overtaking and defending and racecraft, it's very complicated. I can still keep going for a million hours speaking about this. Maybe I will make a part two if we can get like... 150 likes the first week i will make a part two about racecraft because i have a lot of other things to say now also please uh leave a comment if there's something that i missed that i missed or maybe you have something to add here or you're maybe thinking i'm not correct i would really like to know that as well and 
When you're at it, please like the video and maybe consider subscribing.